Hi everyone, welcome to Mash Math. Today we are going to study chapter 6 triangles theorem 6.8 which is also known as Pythagoras theorem. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So basically what it is saying that in a right angle triangle that the square of the hypotenuse so this is hypotenuse means the side that has a slope so that is called hypotenuse so here hypotenuse is ac square right ac is the hypotenuse so square of the hypotenuse means square of the ac is equal is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so other two sides means we have ab and bc so sum, sum of the squares, so AB square, squares of the other two sides, so squares. So square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the sum of the two sides. So in a right triangle, this is what we have to prove. It, it is basically, it is uh, invented by Pythagoras. Therefore, the name is given Pythagoras theorem. So, basically, this is what we have to prove in this, uh, in this theorem. Okay. So, let's first write down what is given to us. What is given to us is that ABC triangle, ABC is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle okay that is given to us then what we have to prove to prove we have to prove that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square then we have to do some construction so that we can refer to theorem 6.7 so construction is we have to draw a perpendicular Okay, perpendicular from the right angle triangle to the hypotenuse. So, here I have drawn the perpendicular. So, that is, we name it as a M. Okay, so BM is perpendicular to AC. So, this is the construction we have done it. Now, let's prove. Okay, now to prove, we will refer to theorem 6.7 where we already learned that in a right angle triangle, if the perpendicular is drawn to the hypotenuse, then uh, the uh, triangles that is formed, the small triangle, there are two triangles are formed. So if we consider this is triangle 1, this is triangle 2. Okay, so triangle 1 will be similar to the triangle ABC and triangle 2 also will be similar to triangle ABC and also both the triangle 1 and 2 also will be similar to each other. That's what we have studied in theorem 6.7. So we will refer to that only. Okay, so triangle AMB, triangle AMB is similar to triangle ABC. How? Theorem 6.7. Now in the exam you cannot write like this. Theorem 6.7 you cannot write. You have to write the whole theorem. That is a perpendicular drawn from the right angle vertex to the hypotenuse. Uh, hypotenuse will make the triangle similar to each other and also each will be similar to the triangle ABC that you have to write down the explanation okay here to explain to you make you to understand this theorem I am just writing theorem 6.7 okay so now when we said this triangle is similar to this big triangle then there are the sides corresponding sides also will be the ratios of the corresponding side also will be equal so let's write down the ratio of their corresponding sides we'll write from here only because this will get confused this and this whole thing to see here only we'll write down so of triangle a m b triangle a b c corresponding sides so first we'll take the first two sides that is a m upon a b will be equal to now next is m b m b upon next is here b c bc equal to now what is left is a and b a b here a and c like this you can write down 
okay because of theorem 6.7 we can say their corresponding sides are equal now we have to uh, get some square because here square is there so let's find out where we can get the square so here we have a b here also we have a b so if this two if we take we will get the square so therefore we can write down a m upon a b is equal to a b upon a c so let's bring this a b this side so we will get here a m and this AC comes here, it will become into multiplication. And here AB, this comes here also will become multiplication. So what we will get? We will get AM into AC equal to AB square. So let's take as equation 1. So same way, now let us take this triangle. So triangle, that is B and C is similar sorry similar to triangle abc because of theorem 6.7 therefore corresponding sides also will be equal so bm upon ab will be equal to mc upon bc and then bc upon ac okay so now again let us get some square here here we have bc here also we have bc so we will take these two sides therefore now mc upon bc equal to bc upon ac so let's bring this ac this side so mc this ac will come here into multiplication bc is here when this comes here also will go to multiplication so we have mc into ac here bc square so let's take this as equation Two. So now let's add both the equation because we have to add only here a b square you have here also b c square. So see a b square and b c square it has to be added only. So let us add equation 1 and 2. So adding equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 is what a m into a c. a m into a c plus equation 2 is mc into ac plus mc into ac equal to ab square plus bc square so now here you have ac here also you have ac let us write common then in bracket you have am plus this mc equal to ab square plus bc square now am plus mc is what actually am plus mc am plus mc is basically ac only so let's write down ac into this becomes ac equal to ab square plus bc square so now we got ac square equal to ab square plus bc square this is what we had to prove hence isn't it easy thank you and god bless